Well, it is the latest declared public health epidemic, loneliness and isolation. The U.S. Surgeon General detailed the issues in a newly released report today. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Nikki Dementri has more. Whether gearing up to study for finals or on a lunch break in Spring Garden, the topics of isolation and loneliness are on the minds of many in the city of Philadelphia. I definitely think it's a problem, especially in the world we live in right now. As much as I can try to carry the light, you know, the city, you can, you can see it in the faces. Uh, it, 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 people don't look too happy. On Tuesday, the Surgeon General released this 82-page advisory detailing what he calls an epidemic of loneliness and isolation. One point he makes, this can have a similar impact as smoking up to 15 cigarettes a day. It makes me think of my neighbors, like, you know, to, to be more caring, to reach out more. According to the agency, loneliness impacts nearly half of American adults. The Surgeon General notes pandemic lockdowns and social media worsen the problem. It just really forced you to, like, isolate from other people. And I can definitely see how that carried into like um, after the pandemic. The report doesn't come as a surprise to those we spoke to at Temple and in Spring Garden, nor does it surprise psychotherapist Shana Von Rudd. This sounds like a cry for help. You know, if the Surgeon General is saying that loneliness is an issue, it's time to start checking in on our loved ones. From schools to businesses, the Surgeon General is calling on the community to come together to make change. He outlines it in a six pillar plan, which includes reform digital environments and cultivate a culture of connection. We are um, on the heels of the pandemic, like we just came off of this. And I think that one thing we haven't done is address mental health as it relates to the pandemic in this country. We have a list of available mental health resources on our website, CBSNewsPhiladelphia.com. Nikki Dementri, CBS News, Philadelphia.